Alrighty. Checking this out. You got some more grass. Which is cool. I like it. That's exactly it. I think right now, if I look at the wool first, I think that looks timing wise pretty good. We are a bit even there in terms of the posing. Like you could have, you can bring this out just a bit more into a triangle pose. Like one can be front, one can be back. Just kind of offset these poses a little bit more. And then watch out when he goes, huh? It's a bit of an odd moment just because at that point, kind of looking this way. And I would just keep that head and still like, hey, what like what am I looking at? This is what is this thing here? So eye line wise, I would stay down there. I'm not sure you need that. Huh? Because it's it's not resting there long enough to go, huh? Wait, what 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 did I see? If that makes sense, like you you go like whoa, like almost like a head shake type whoa, what? And then specific look down. It just, it just goes by a bit fast. So to me, it's just, you might as well combine that into like a whoosh, and immediately land here. And then this one is a bit odd. Just this this move feels more like eh, 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 like their 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 muscles are sore. They're kind of old. They're trying to move somewhere. Like ah, 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 my back hurts type of thing. Because it's also an odd moment of I got energy and I can jump there. Like oh everything hurts and then oh I'm fast again. So I'm not quite sure what that means there. And then watch out on something like this. I would avoid moments where it's short. It's not the whole thing, but uh, you have like chest, head and hips here. Just all moving as one piece, just giving us a bit of a, a stiff moment through there. And then also his eyes, like it's looking like it's looking here and then it goes up and it looks here where I don't know how you animate. It's like I, I personally prefer to keep the eye box in world space so that if that head will now move over there, the eyes are still looking there. Like this, it's a bit of a stronger focus. Although I would put the eye box over here. That gives me a better feel. Otherwise, when they're too close, it feels like eyeballs are marbles in there. But this has a, a feel of the eyes are just kind of parented to the head. And whatever the head is doing, the eyes are doing. It gives it, it, gives it a bit of a, an unfocused like puppet puppet feel. We are a bit high with those lower lids. There, watch out. And I think right at the end, whew, that's not too bad. Sometimes it feels too fast. Sometimes I rewatch it like, that's not too bad. And I think it's a bit like you're, you're putting the grass aside and it sniffs. And I think what I would do personally is I will keep those eyes closed, closed, closed until here. Like that widening is when it opens up there's something a bit like and it's, it's it almost feels rushed it sniffs and then immediately opens eyes and then has a reaction so it, i know to me it feels like you could sniff 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 hold for a moment eyes closed and then eyes open and they could open looking here and then you dart down to look at the seagull so again it feels like their eyes are a bit unfocused uh, watch out to not move outer eyebrows just separately like this. Usually it's more inner and mid that move the most on brows. And the outers are kind of different fleshiness. But that just feels a bit odd. Just move these separately. Yeah. See the, the bigger the bigger issues. And then like sometimes you have some slower moments on the wolf because it's it's bigger. I get that. So I'm really generalizing. But in terms of movements, like there's too many kind of like very swimmy, soft movements on that seagull. And I think you can, for contrast, have this guy really be sharper. I'm not saying like it's kind of like, you know, those little tiny birds with really sharp head darts, but more leaning towards that direction. Even like when you have that move over, look what the head is doing. It just has like a drift. So from here to here, this feels like here's a key, here's a key. And it's just... There's nothing in there in terms of tweaking the timing. It just kind of softly drifts over there. Same thing here. Like you go over there and then kind of drifts forward and then kind of pops around a lot. It's a bit it's a bit wonky in your arcs and in your spacing. Same thing you can see ex uh, overextension in the legs. It just, it just all feels a bit messy. Like if you track, if you track your, I put some onion skinning on there. I track 
say this section of the beak just because it's a good um, color difference easy to track hold on I just took away all my well here you can see that kind just goes up I mean I can go a bit further back here whoops a bit much anyway you can see like a sun goes up and then suddenly to the right and then we hold and then you got that long very even drift if I would follow this spacing wise it's very and then and then you have this sudden move up here down 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 and then whoa we suddenly go back whoa suddenly to the left whoa over there and then kind of stuck in space it's just that just gets very very messy and I would at least start with just giving us just cleaner arcs in all of this. I know sometimes you can go for, you know, like a very like a shootout. I, I totally get that. But I would start with soft and smoother arcs just to get the basics right. And then watch out. You got some drifty legs there. If you watch this leg here. Right, right that, like that feels odd. It kind of drifts over with no real influence in there. It doesn't feel motivated. Like the, there's no shift in all of this. It just kind of drags its lazy foot over there. And then here, again, we're off balance. Like the legs are way back in terms of the balance there. And then it just kind of drifts over with the body, causing an overextension and kind of a tangent in these points there. It's just still a lot of technical messiness. You can see even this foot here. Hold on. I zoom in this here. You can see how this foot just kind of softly drifts at the very beginning. So I think that's kind of like a, a general note for a lot of your shots. There's just a lot of technical messiness. Even here, that body's pointed this way, but then you got that there pointing this way. Just a lot of kind of broken poses. So I would look at just kind of the a general contrast and feel of how the characters could move. I'm trying to drag this back here. In terms of, you know, one character is big, has its moments of this character of speed. It's not an elephant, right? It can still have some speed in there. But I would still find some good contrasting movements between this character and this character. And then after that, really look at posing where like, you would move the feet over so that it's a bit more like this as this is pointing this way. I'm not saying you can never have any twists in there, but just a lot of times it feels like this is here, this is here, just a lot of broken body parts and elements, just like when you have a head move that feels really mostly in here. There's something moving in there while there's a drift in the lower body. So like a lot of separate components uh, in that animation, if that makes sense. All right, thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.